Like all the other bodies in the solar system, our world has been the target of wayward space rocks large and small for billions of years. Over the past couple of decades, thanks to new instruments and observing programs designed to search for near-Earth asteroids, those whose orbits can sometimes bring them close to Earth, we're getting a clearer picture of what's out there and how much of a threat it presents. An asteroid called Apophis caught the attention of astronomers in 2004 when initial observations of its orbit suggested there was up to a 2.7% chance that it would hit Earth in April 2029. Apophis is 370 metres across and its impact would release about as much energy as 10,000 Hiroshima bombs. Depending on where it struck, it could kill tens of millions and cause destruction on an international scale. For a while, Apophis was given an all-time high rating of 4 on the Torino Impact Hazard Scale, a 0 to 10 scale that indicates the likelihood and severity of asteroid impacts. Fortunately, further observations ruled out any chance of a collision in 2029, but left open the possibility of an impact seven years later if Apophis passed through a narrow region of space called a gravitational keyhole. By 2013, even this possibility had been eliminated, and in March 2021, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory announced there was no chance that Apophis would hit the Earth within the next 100 years. But what about other asteroids? Earth bears the scars of many cosmic impacts. The Barringer crater near Flagstaff, Arizona, is a spectacular formation over a kilometre wide and 175 metres deep, excavated when an iron meteorite, maybe 50 metres across, slammed into the ground about 50,000 years ago. The remains of older, much bigger craters stand out clearly in aerial and satellite photos of Quebec and Saskatchewan provinces in Canada, the West African Shield in Ghana, the Sahara Desert in northern Chad, and elsewhere. 65 million years ago, an asteroid between 10 and 15 kilometers across created a massive crater in what's now Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. The effects of its impact contributed to the extinction of the dinosaurs and 99% of all animal life on Earth, and also to the rise of the mammals and eventually humans. Asteroids a few metres to a few hundred metres across whiz past us on a regular basis. In 2019, an asteroid about 100 metres wide that had only been discovered a day earlier and was named 2019 OK missed us by a mere 70,000 kilometres, a fifth of the distance to the Moon. Around 25,000 near-Earth asteroids have been identified, 2,000 of which are large enough and can come close enough to us to be considered potentially hazardous. None pose the threat of an extinction-level event in the foreseeable future. But as the incident with 2019 OK shows, there's still the possibility that we could be hit unawares by an object big enough to cause loss of life and destruction, at least on a local scale. If we had advance warning that something capable of widespread devastation were heading straight towards us, we'd have three options. Evacuate the impact zone, destroy the object before it arrives, or somehow nudge it in time so that it misses us. In the short term, there are probably more important threats to our survival to worry about. But as the scars of the past remind us, Earth will be hit hard again in the future, unless we take steps to avoid it.